بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يسبح لله ما في السماء الحمد لله الذي خلق الناس من ذكر وأنثى وجعلهم شعوبا وقبائل ليتعارفوا All praises are due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has created man into clans nations He has created them into male and female for them to introduce one another to get to know one another where tawadu and they share love among themselves for call a gentleman calling ya ayu al nasu inna khalakina kum in dhakari wa unfa wa jaina kum shu'uban wa qabayla al ta'arafu inna akramukum inda allahi atqaqum inda allah alim al khabir this has been elucidated in surat al hujrat wa salatu wa salam ala sayyidina muhammad al ladhi madda yad al ulfa wa ta'amul al hasan إلى غير المسلمين ونهانا نان المسلمين أن الإلحاق أي الضرر بهن من غير اعتداء. Praises are due to Allah, blessings and favors of Allah be showered, be conferred on the messenger of Allah, Prophet Muhammad, صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم, that has forbidden us from making life difficult to the non-Muslims. The ones we live with, and at the same time, the same Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has extended a hands of friendship to the non-Muslim and has so has been so nice to them, so kind to them when they were living together in both Mecca and Medina. When the non-Muslimin and ilhaq ay dorad bihi min ghir itida, and the Prophet has discouraged us from creating enemies with them when they have not fought against us or make couple with anything that will bring about enmity between us and them. وَقَالَ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَآلِهِ وَسَلَّمْ مَنْ قَتَلَ نَفْسًا مُعَاهِدًا لَمْ يُرِعِ رَحَةَ الْجَنَّةِ وَإِنَّ الْرِيحَةَ لَيُوجَدْ مِنْ مَسِيرَةَ أَرْبَعِينَ عَامًا صلى الله عليه وعلى وسلم أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وده ولا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبد ورسول أبي أود ناس اللي وانا صف الله سبحانه وتعالى اللي وانا نقول له أنا أصو أبي أود ناس in the same degree that Prophet Muhammad remained a great servant and a messenger of Allah سبحانه وتعالى أما بعد إباد الله هنرب السبان تف الله brothers and sisters in the day of Islam بمناسبة احتفال العالم بأسبوع الولايات المتحدة لتعايس السلم بين الأديان في الأيام القليلة المقبلة وبالتحديد من اليوم الأول إلى السابع من شهر فبراير المقبل. In line with those different kind of marking and celebration and declaration of United States of America. From the first day of February to the seventh day of February, there will be a mark and declaration of interfaith harmony. The United States of America and some other European countries will be declaring a whole week to mark the interfaith harmony. How we can smoothen our relations. I mean, the relationship between Muslims and the non-Muslims. When we say non-Muslims, the most common one among them are the Christians, and at the same time, the Jews. So, this declaration we made by the United States of America from the first day of the month of February to the seventh day of the month of uh, February. 
وتدور خبطنا اليوم حول التعايش السلمي بين الأديان من منظور الإسلامي. On that note, we we try to pick up a topic of discussion today to revolve around interfaith harmony. How can we live in peace? What has Islam taught us? What are the principles of Islam on a perfect relationship between Muslims and non-Muslims? How did the Prophet relate with them in Mecca and in Medina? What are the beauties of Islam in terms of our relationship with the non-Muslims? Are we to condemn them? Are we to wage war against them? Are we to hate their sides? Do we have to say, because you are a Christian, you can't live with us here? You have to be sent on exile. All these things are what we want to try to look at in accordance with the available time for our discussion. Allah Ta'ala, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says, and I quote, لا ينهاكم الله عن الذين لم يقاتلوكم في الدين ولم يخرجوكم من دياركم أن تبروهم وتقسطوا إليهم إن الله يحب المقسطين إن سورة الممتحنة Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah has not stopped you, has not forbidden you from relating well with those of them who have not waged war against you. Those who did not hate you, who did not hate your religion, who have been living in peace and harmony with you, and they did not send you out of your houses or your homes, and that you be nice to them. Be just in your dealings with them. Allah has not stopped you from having a friends among the non-Muslims. It, it depends on your definition of your friendship and the level of the friendship. It depends. It is not haram. We have an, a, a professional associate in your offices, in your homes, in your communities, home and abroad. It is not haram for you to deal with them as long as they did not wage war against you. As long as they did not show hatred to your religion and to your person, it is not haram. Allah says, why? You can deal with them. They have not staged a fight against you. They have not sent you out of your respective homes. You could deal with them. You don't take them as your enemy. At-ta'ayush fi al-loga masdaru min ta'ayush wa ta'ayush yani fi al-loga bimana al-aishu ala al-ulfa wa al-mawadda wa ta'ayushu bayna al-nas. What we are trying to talk about when we say at-ta'ayush, what it literally connotes, the word ta'ayush means living together. Having a, a good life together, al ulfa, al ulfa, togetherness, ulfa, unity. This is what uh, at Taayus connotes. Wafi nistilah yati at Taayus bimana tajamuhu majmua tu min al nas fi makani maayyan mutasilu an tariq al kafaf min al matam wa sharabu wa asasiyat al hayat. بغض النظر عن الدين والانتماءات الأخرى كل منه معروف بحق الآخر دون التقامل والاندماج. and technically التعايش interfaith harmony is to understand one another respect one another's faith. you can deal in peace and harmony with non-Muslim irrespective of their faith. You know one thing, when you look at them, you say, these are kufar, they are unbelievers. Do not forget that they also see us as unbelievers. When, they come, when you come across non-Muslims, you say, I can't believe it. Because you did not believe in the messengership of Rasulullah, and you did not believe in the Lordship and Godship of Jesus Christ. So to him, you are a kafir. 
And because he failed to believe in the messengership of Rasulullah, he failed to believe in Islamic monotheism, you regard him as a kafir. You call him kafir, he call you kafir. You call him unbeliever, he addresses you as unbeliever. That is how it is. You find yourself in the mosque. You say, Alhamdulillah, I am rightly guided. Yes, we are rightly guided based on certain proofs and evidences. It is well known to us, based on our conviction to them, that they are in, the, they are in, in their canines, in their churches, they also believe that you are unbelievers. You are astray. You have, made, you have got it, gotten it wrong. Hey, why, are they, why did they fail to, be, to, to accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and personal Savior? Ah, these people have gone astray. The way you look at them as people who have gone astray, so they look at you. And that is just the simple arithmetic there. So it is important we understand all this so that we can all live in harmony, peace and tranquility, and love and remain united. When we get there, we'll explain how Rasulullah actually lived with Muslims and non-Muslims when he got to Medina. He actually lived with them peacefully, in harmony, in tranquility. And together with the non-Muslim, Rasulullah constituted an authority. And they were all involved. So they both live in peace and harmony. فقال تعالى إن الله يعوم بلاد الإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفاشاء والموك والبجي يعزكم لعلكم تذكرون إسلام has actually built our relationship with non-Muslim who have not waged war against us who has not hated us or hated our religion on justice you have to be just you have to exhibit and display justice with even non-Muslims. Don't say because he's, he's, he's not a Muslim, you can deal with him unjustly. No. You have to exercise the concept of justice in your relationship, even with non-Muslims. You have, as long as they are nice to you, even when they are not nice to you, you are bound to be nice to them. You are bound to be kind to them. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not separated them from this verse of the Holy Quran. Where Allah says, Inna Allah ya'mur bil adli wal ihsan. Allah has actually ordered and commanded justice and kindness wa itai dhil qurba. And to be generous to the, ki the kids and king. To be generous to your close family relations. For example, now this is Adalatul Rahman, the justice of Allah, the merciful. He says he has commanded you all to be just to one another, irrespective of faith. In Allah, verily, Allah, Yamur bil Adli wal Ihsan wa Itaid al Qurba. You have to be just in your dealing with the whole mankind, irrespective of their faith. Well, Ihsan, you have to be nice. Being nice has no limitation. As long as somebody is nice to you, you have to be nice to him or her. Even when certain people are not nice to you, as a good Muslim, as a good ambassador of Rasulullah, as somebody who wants to display the beauty of Islam, you are expected to be nice to that person. It be a sayya hasana. Wa khalikin nasa bi khulukin hasan. Even if somebody is bad to you, as a good Muslim, you are expected, you are required to be nice to him. So as to show him, to prove to him the beauty of Islam and the sunnah of the Prophet of Islam. Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. So there's no discrimination. No sentiment in the order of Allah. And he says, Be kind, be nice, 
be generous. Give right to the kid and kin. Your family be nice to them. Allah did not separate among your family the Muslims and non-Muslims. If a Christian is a member of your family, he or she deserves your kindness and niceness and good behavior to him. Some of our malams are getting more controversial and are creating more problems for us nowadays. The difference between understanding Allah and have proper understanding of Arabic language. If you have proper understanding of Al Quran, it will lead you into having proper knowledge about Allah and having absolute understanding of Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you know, you, you know how to go about issues. A lot of Christians have returned back to Christendom just because some Muslims misbehave to them. They did not welcome them back wholeheartedly. They didn't see them as one of them. I want to be very. I saw to Babu. I damn I ba last year in Yatuba. Tunde kaya di kaya Yatuba meiriki. When Yatuba ya musulunta meiriki ibada Allah. Once somebody accepts your faith, forget about the past. Af Allahu abma salafa. You as a Muslim, where is the confidence that you are going to die as a Muslim? There is no confidence, no assurance that all of us will die as Muslim. Even Allah says, La tamutunna illa wa antum muslimun. We are not sure that we are going to die as Muslims. So the non-Muslim can die as Muslim and you Muslim can die as a non-Muslim. You don't hate them at sight. You see, when I come across those Christians, I hate them. For what reason? It is for Allah. How do you, how dare you get more sentimental and being discriminating? I don't want to see them. It's everywhere now. And that is how Allah had planned it. They find a family now without a Christian or a non Muslim. You hardly. We have, I don't know, little cases in the north here. Or in the, in the, in the, in the west, forget it too. Your father is a Muslim, his younger brother is a Christian. How do you go about that? There are some people in this mosque. Their mother remained a Christian up to today. Do you throw her away because she's a Christian? You are in trouble. Even as a Christian, she can, she can, she can match your agenda. As a Christian, if you don't have sense to know how to deal with her. Okay, today, when Ibalai she got family in among your siblings, you are eight in numbers. Three of them are Christian. And it depends on who trained them, where they grew up. All these are some of the factors that change the mindset of some of our brothers. Some of them studied abroad. Some of them live with reverend fathers and the rest of them. For one reason or the other, Kuma Allah Yari Dara, this one will remain a Christian. Would you disown him as a brother? If you do, you are not a good Muslim. Allah has not stopped you from being nice to them. Some have gone to the extent of coming across a non-Muslim who is seriously hungry, who is, who is deadly thirsty. You say, ah, I am a I am a Muslim. I am a Muslim. If you come across a Christian who is in trouble, Allah says, help them. Help them out as a fellow human being. How do you then display the beauty of your religion? You hate somebody at sight. You don't even, you don't even exchange greeting, no exchange of pleasantry because he's a Christian. 
Today, oh, Christians are better off in some areas. Quote, unquote, in some areas. They are better off. What about pagans? What do you do with pagans? Politics, idolaters. What do you do about them? If you completely hate all Christians, I don't want to see them. Then if you hate them, how did they get to know the sweetness of Islam? The beauty of Islam? How interesting Islam has been? That is why Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi says, La yu minu ahadukum, man kana yu minu la yu minu akhir fali yu kiri mujarahu. Whoever has true belief in Allah and the last day must honor his neighbor. His neighbor. Your neighbor can be a Muslim. He can be a Christian. He can be a pagan. He can be an atheist. Is atheist not the worst of all? Who doesn't believe in the existence of God at all? When you ask him, there's no God. Everything is happening naturally. Nothing like God. What do you, do, what do you say about that one? At least a pagan believe that this rock, this mountain is his God. Don't forget Each and every one of us has gotten a particular direction where he or she faces. Allah It is Allah that make him or her to face that direction, not your own interest. It is good for us to understand all this. So that we don't send away some of our will be Muslims, will be followers of Rasulullah. Out of our misbehavior, we have sent some of them away. I was listening to a video, an audio clip this morning of one Reverend Ali from Taraba State who embraced Islam. Reverend Ali Yu, he made a public declaration and sent it to the media. The Christians in Taraba and its environs are seriously in trouble as I speak. And I pray that will not be a religious conflict in the nearest future. I listened to some of this audio where a chaplain, the, 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 the general chaplain of uh, uh, whatever Christ was begging Reverend Ali to please come back to Christianity. They are ready to buy him a good house, marry a good woman to him, whatever he wants, they are ready to give it to him. If Reverend Ali should come to Abuja with nothing, I said with nothing, said, I want to relocate to Abuja because his life is already threatened. The youth of his area have stood against him now. It's not safe, Reverend Ali. If you have listened to the audio, it is current. I'm giving you the current happening in Taraba State. If he takes solace in Abuja here, I'm not too sure that he'll be comfortable. How many of us will say, Ali, come, let me accommodate you in my house. Come and stay with me as long as you can. These are what Christians are doing to snatch our brothers and sisters. It irritates me. Somebody, I, 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 to be I, 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 so what do you say about them? All these three aforementioned caliphs have ever prostrated for idols before embracing Islam through Sayyidi Kujudi wa Alami Shuhudi Mawlana Muhammad. And they, be, they became the best of mankind today. Allow those who recently embraced Islam to see us as being part of them. They are not comfortable in our midst. When an Igbo man, an Igbo man appears to be a Muslim now, say, ah, Yemeni, are you sure he's a Muslim? Even if he's not, even if he has come to extort us, to get money from us, your behavior will nail him down at the end of the day. 
ask you to hate a Christian at sight. In what part of the Holy Quran? In what portion of the Sunnah of Rasulullah? I don't like to see them. I hate them all. For what reason? They have not waged war against you. They have not disturbed you. La in hakum Allah wa Islam yu kati lukum wa lam yu khuriyu kum in diyari kum anta baruhu wa tuksitu ilayhi. As long as they do not wage war against you, you have no reason whatsoever to wage war against them. As a, as Muslims, it is when they rise against you, you defend yourself. That is why we continue to say that. 100% of the battles fought by the Holy Prophet Muhammad were all defensive. None of, none of it was offensive. None was offensive. All was to defend himself and his ummah. And that was all. There's nowhere it has been spelled out in the Holy Quran that we should wage war against them. That is not part of Islam. وَقَالَ فِي آيَةٍ أُخْرَى إِنَّ اللَّهِ يَأْمُرُكُمْ أَنْ تُؤَدُّوا الْأَمَانَاتِ إِلَى أَهْلِهَا وَإِذَا حَكَمْتُمْ بِنَ النَّاسِ أَنْ تَحْكُمُوا بِالْعَدْلِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ نِيمَ يَعِزُكُمْ بِهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ كَانَ سَمِيعًا بَصِيرًا When you have an agreement between you and a non-Muslim, that Allah, that Allah, Nabi, for Allah's sake, keep to that agreement. Otherwise, you'll be tarnishing the image of your religion. You thereby give us a bad name. Make sure that you represent us well everywhere you find yourself. It happens. It happens to them as well. But I am talking to my brothers and, and sisters in Islamic monophysics. Because somebody is a Christian in your working place does not make you to frustrate him or her. How do you want him or her to see the beauty of Islam about Allah? Rasulullah remains the great, the great leader, an exemplary leader to all of us, to emulate. You have no reason to hate anyone. If you hate him, you are only trying to hate the work of Allah. By Allah ban Yahalikish. It is Allah that created him. And it is the wish of Allah that this person will not be a Muslim. It is not your concern. You cannot guide whoever you wish to be guided. It is the work, it is not your responsibility to guide anyone. All this I'm saying, it is my responsibility to say it. To follow it is with Allah. Lasta alayhim bi musaytir illa man tawalla wa kafar. It is important we understand all this. Ibad Allah al kiram. La taksur amru ala al adl wal iqsat ma ghayl muslimi. Wa inna ma yatadda dalika ila al bir wal ihsan ilayhi kama aslafna al qawl. Hathi yaqulu al haqq jalla wa la asa Allah in yajalla bayna kuma bayna al-lazina aadi tu minhuma wadda. Wallahu qadir wallahu ghafurur rahim. Even even those whom you had engaged yourself in certain fights. That certain dispute, you had issue with some Christians, it was later settled. Allah says you could turn out to be the best of friends at the end of the day. Even those who wage war against you, as long as Allah protected you from their evils, you became victorious. What do you say? You thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be nice to him or her. Get yourself protected though. But be nice to him or her. Let him or her see the beauty of Islam. Have you, have you, have you, I mean, conducted yourself for them to understand how your prophet behaved with the non-Muslim at Mecca, at Medina? The prophet that was sent on exile from Mecca now became now was given a warm reception at Medina and became authority. He did not just become authority. He invited Muslims and non-Muslims. Some of them visited him inside his mosque. It is not haram for a Christian to come into this mosque. Tell me where it is written. How do we entice them to come and embrace our religion? You are holding sword like this. You are holding a Quran. You either take this Quran or I caught you. 
So, la ikraha fi din qatabaya not rushdu min al-ghayf. Who will be interested in your way of life? If you are too hard, if you are too harsh, even Prophet Muhammad, Allah said to him, وَلَوْ كُنْتَ فَزَّنْ غَلِيزِ الْقَلْ لَمْ فَضُّوا مِنْ حَوْلِكُ If you are too strict, if you are too harsh, Muhammad, get this from me, Muhammad. If you are too hard, you are too hard, you are too strict, you are too tough, لَمْ فَضُّوا مِنْ حَوْلِكُ They will run away. That is Prophet Muhammad. Then who are you? Who are you? You can't fight for Allah. Allah can only fight for you. But you, who are you? You are nothing but nothing. But is zero behind decimal points. It is only Allah that can fight for himself. In Yoruba, when Allah will say, That is what it means. You can't fight for Allah. You cannot impress Allah. Allow things to happen naturally. This Reverend Ali, I have been looking for his number. When they beg him and he refuses, by the time he wants to speak to them, he says, Bismillah rahman rahim I also be lying. He said, ah, Reverend. Bismillah rahman rahim Allah ya che, Allah. Ba yesu ba, yansu Allah ubangiri. Now this guy is in dilemma. It's an assignment. Let's find out about Reverend Ali. And see how he can take a solace outside Arabah State. If guy is not taking, we may lose him. Lose him not only going back to Christianity, he may lose his life. And it is our responsibility, and Allah will ask us. Ma sa taqulun is qal al Nabi yulakum ma da faal tun wa antun akhir al umam wa la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah rahim ras. الحمد لله رب العالمين القائل في محكم تنزيله إن الصابئين والنصر المجوس والذين شرقوا إن الله يصل بينهم يوم القيامة إن الله على كل شيء دم سيدنا حبنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم قائل على من ظلم معاهدا all praises are due to Allah سبحانه وتعالى that says in his revelations full of wisdom those who have believed in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, وَالَّذِينَ هَادُوا وَالنَّصَارَى The Jews and the Christians, وَالصَّابِئِينَ وَالنَّصَارَى وَالْمَجُوسَى Those who worship sons, those who worship mountain, وَالَّذِينَ أَشْرَكُوا And those who actually associated other things with Allah, إِنَّ اللَّهِ يَفْتِ بَيْنَهُمْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ Allah will separate them on the day of Qiyamah. إِنَّ اللَّهِ لَا كُلِّ شَيْءٍ شَهِيدٍ Of Allah, of course Allah has remained a witness on each and every one of these affirmations. وصلى وسلم على سيدنا آدم. I ask Allah's favors and blessings upon the leader of all the descendants of Prophet Adam. That is our beloved Prophet Muhammad, صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم. That says, whoever deceive, kill, fight somebody who has taken an oath with you. The prophet says, I'm going to fight for him. Just like I said earlier, if you have any issue with a non-Muslim, make sure you say to it amicably and justly. Amicably and justly. Some believe because it's not a, it's not a Muslim now. After even if we have a written agreement, I won't give him. I back up everybody. I kafiri Allah ni illabi. Kafiri Allah ni. By kafirin kabani. It is a kafiri of Allah. So all these are what we need to know and understand about our religion so that we don't get it wrong. And until we get it wrong, we get it right, we may not represent Islam in the best way. It is very important. These people have deserved certain right from us. Give respect to their faith. As Christians, you can't come across a Christian and say, what about your stupid Jesus Christ? He will tell you, what about your stupid Muhammad? 
as simple as that. You now remove your sword, you want to fight. Maybe they should cut you first. Give them the respect they deserve. Respect their life. Respect their persons. Respect their way of life. There are different traditions of the Holy Prophet Muhammad. Where some women, some Sahaba, have come to report their parents who happen to be non-Muslim to the Holy Prophet Muhammad. That my mom, who is Mushrika, Majusa, a Mushrika, who worship idols, came for my assistance, Ya Rasulullah. Should I hal asil her? Do I bring her closer and listen to her complain and do what I can for her? Because she's not, she's not, she's not my sister in Islam. Don't get it wrong, go. In minuna, for asili who? What about your father who is not a Muslim? You are lucky to be a Muslim. Is it not for you to be nice to your father who is a non-Muslim? You are lucky to be a Muslim today, and your mother say, now Jesus Christ, oh, if, if you go kill me, I no go agree. No problem. Be nice to her. If I were you, I would buy different Bible for my mom. Alhamdulillah, my mom is a Muslim. But if I were you, I would buy different version of Bible. Like, we have close to 60 versions of Bible as I speak now. And I would go and buy like 30 for her. Hey, mama, this is your gift. Gift of words, versions of Bible. Go be reading and be reading and be reading. Ma, if you are confused, please call me. That is a way of calling her to Islam. One day, you will bring Al Quran with provisions, with meat, with cloth, with money, with drinks, everything. Put everything down and hold Al Quran. You say, Mama, this is the only version of the Holy Quran in the last 1,500 years ago. And it remained the only fashion, and we do not have another fashion up to today, man. This is your Bible. Have your clothes, have your drinks, have your food, have money, have everything, and leave. Put her in a dilemma. Is it because she's a, she's a Christian, you, you cannot kneel down for her? She can finish you even as a Christian. Wallahi lazi. You are bound to be nice to them. Even a woman complained to the old man, ah, my, my. She, she left through another entrance and went to Rasulullah. My mother is at the door, calling on me, knocking on my door, making certain requests. As, as a mushrika, as a polytheist, Rasulullah, should I answer her? Because you better go and do. Go and answer her. She remains your mother. Your faith did not change her motherhood. Some of us are getting it wrong. Because you are a Muslim, as you are in the mosque, possibly your mother is a Kirbu and Serafu church. You have to be nice to her. You, it is compulsory. No option. You have to be nice to her. You, you, we, can, we cannot afford to get it wrong. We are getting it wrong. It was said that a mushrik shared a fence with the Holy Prophet Muhammad. And every morning and every night, when they pass feces, I mean extrita, in their houses, they will put it together and pour it into the compound of Rasulullah. If you are the one, what will you do? You will set your house ablaze. Put it on fire. Maybe if you didn't cache them, after five years, they could embrace Islam. Rasulullah, they continue to throw feces into the compound of Rasulullah. And Rasulullah will see, has simply assigned some people as they pour it, be cleaning it. Once they pour it, like, hey, your people have thrown it again, we'll go and clean it. That is your own assignment. They already know them from that place. Some Christians will know you are a Muslim with Tobano. 
They said, accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. I said, no problem. You can't bring out a knife and stab him. You will die inside cell. Go back to the uncle. So, for two days, they didn't pour anything into the compound of Rasulullah. Those who are assigned couldn't do anything. There are no feces today to clear, to wash. They went to report to Rasulullah. Ah. The, yesterday, nothing. Today, nothing. The following day, nothing. Three days. Rasulullah said, we have to go and check on him. We have to go and check on him. What happened to him? We didn't see his hand, though. Rasulullah went and checked. He found out that the man was critically ill. And they told the man, you have a great visit of your friend, <laughs> your neighbor. He said, which neighbor? Prophet Muhammad has come to check on you. They said they didn't see your hand. What? What kind of human being is this? Wallahi lazim. The man said, are you sure you have come to check on me? He said, yes. And uh, how is your body? He said, wahala. You, you are truly a messenger of Allah. Ashadu Allah ilaha illallah. Wa ashadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah. If it were to be you, what would have happened? Before you return from office one day, they would have finished their house. If you have done that, the way you embrace Islam, will he embrace Islam? A food for thoughts. إن الله يأمر بالإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر البقي يعزكم لأنكم تذكروا. In this singular ayah, I have said it earlier that Allah subhanahu wa taala did not separate anyone from being doing justice to be just to everyone, even non-Muslims. Well, إحسان they have freedom to be nice to be nice to them. If they are part of your family, give them their right. You are sharing money in your family because. Mr. Geber is only Muslim. He said, no, I don't buy Shiva. I she had a name. Ah, but Sahalaba. You have to give it to him and do everything you need to do. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has discouraged and forbidden shameful attitude. Wal munkar. Unwanted behavior. Wal baggy. Conspiracy. So that you can reflect. Rabbana atina fi dunya sanatan. وفي آخر تصنيفك النار لا بنا سبحان ربك رب العزة أما يسود سلام للمسلمي الحمد لله رب العالمين قم إلى صلاتكم يرحمكم الله ويزكيهم ويعين